Hello, brothers and sisters, and the Lord. Amen. What a beautiful day it is today to be in the Lord's presence. Amen. He is so wonderful. He is so great. He is so, so, so good. Amen. It's just that joy of the Lord. Amen. That's overwhelming and that's consuming over and in our lives. Amen. That just you know, it pushes on over, it pushes on over, it pushes on over. And, you know, Jesus is a gentleman. You know, he is the uh, lover of our soul. He's the giver of our heart. I mean, you know, he's just so powerful in all his ways that, you know, it's unmeasurable. And he's just so great in that way, amen, that we can... Lift up his holy name in praise and truly be thankful for everything. Amen. We know time is near. There's the hustle. There's the bustle. People are running, coming and going. And sometimes, you know, uh, you're, you're, you're on a different note. Amen. Come on now. Uh, there's so much things that are going down that it feels like, you know, if, 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 it's it's more coming down than what you're coming up. You see what I'm saying? But you know what? Through those struggles, through those uh, heartaches, through the roughness, you know, I heard it this way that, you know, it seems like all hell is coming down all over you and every sense of the word. But yet, but yet, even in that place, we have joy in the midst. Yet, even in that place, you know what? Our hearts is overwhelmed with the goodness of God. But yet, you know what? There is still a story, a story, a life, uh, uh, a lineage of legacy to be spoken and to be told around this world. You know, I don't even know if, if if Christmas is universal. I don't. But I know that Christmas brings joy. Christmas brings giving. And you know, it's so true. When we look at it, it's maybe not in the biblical sense. But we see, you know, that it's giving Christ the attention. Putting Christ... In Christmas, you see what I'm saying? It's learning how to give. You know, someone that has been tied up and really don't understand the laws of giving, you know, and just be on a receiving end. When we learn how to give, I mean, we're in a whole different ball game. We're in a whole different level. We're in... Uh, a whole different means because now we're seeing where the heart is at and where your measure of faith is at. You know, God sees the heart. God sees the mind. God sees the soul. God sees all those blessed, blessed, I could say blessed, because we are of the blessed. We are of the highly favored. We are of the great I am that I am that takes away the sin of the whole wide world. Can you imagine what an awesome gift of our Lord Jesus Christ it's not only something, but it's someone that is a father, that is a mother, that is a brother, that is a sister. That is anything and everything. Not only that what we could ever want. And I'm talking about wants, but even that of what all we can ever need, church. I mean, what a fulfilling awesomeness to know that it's 
Christ, the hope of glory that's living and dwelling inside of each and every one of us. There is a promise. There is a certainty. There is a secure that, you know what, that Jesus is Lord and he is the king. And he is the one that is the king over you and me and over in our lives. If there's something to be joyful about, if there's something to shout about, it's the great I am that lives inside of each and every one of us. Inside of me. There. I said it. Seal it. Put a stamp on it. And be out alone. Hallelujah. Because that is is the promise guarantee of the sealing of the Holy Spirit. I want you to check this out, church. There is such a promise. There is such a guarantee that when the enemy comes against you, God seals us with his Holy Spirit. God seals us. Out of the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, how the blessings of God flows, that there is such an enlightenment church for the church in itself to smell the coffee and allow it just to overflow with his goodness. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. To let the light of the Lord so shine. Because once we were in the darkness. But now we have the light. We have the light of Christ. And that great light. Just like these houses that are just lit up all around the world and even where we are at, houses, buildings, trees that are just filled and lit it up with this light. This is of the heavenly realms. This is of the light of Christ. I want to share a word of scripture. The word of the Lord reads, As the prisoner of the Lord, I urge you to live a life that's worthy of the calling that you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient. Bearing with one another in the love. Bearing with one another in the love. To me, that is bearing in one another in the light. Be the light of Christ for God has predestined us he's called us out of the miry clay set our feet upon a rock and he has called us to stand in this greater light maybe you don't have money to put lights around your house maybe you can barely even pay your light bill come on now But I'm telling you, there's such a promise and a guarantee of God's light to shine. Let the light of God to shine. For he has shown himself even unto us. Believing and trusting in the Lord this Christmas, this season. 
when you decorate that Christmas tree, know that someone died on the cross. The tree is the representation of the significance of what Christ paid the price. Church, he loves you. And he has given us this promise of love. He has given us this promise of guarantee. And Jesus is Lord. And we have the victory. He is calling us in. Not to take us out. But he's calling us in. To put us more out. So that we too can shine. Like Jesus shines. He takes a mess. Out of a mess. And creates a message. A message of love. A message of you. A message of me. A message. Declaring that Jesus Christ is Lord and King of everything. Amen. Hallelujah. And Jesus. Mighty. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome name. So when you're enjoying this Christmas, having some cocoa, maybe with some marshmallows on the top, reflect. Reflect this year into the coming year. Jesus Christ as King and as the light of the world. Share it with your children. Share it with the promise of your children that Christ has a promise, a guarantee as well for their lives. The reason for this season, it's great, you know, to to get all sometimes just to get up all in that feeling of the hustle and the bustle. You know, some people thrill on the thrill. You know, but there's no greater thrill, thrill than what the Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ, paid on the cross. Thank you, church. Thank you, uh, and thank the Lord. And just for y'all guys just really coming in on this channel and, you know, enjoying with me uh, podcasting this speaker, the speaker of the year. Amen. (laughs) I receive that in Jesus name. And just really know that we are traveling in this grace. I heard a great message. We got to change from the grave to the grace. I like that. I like that. Grave to grace. Our tomorrow is never guaranteed. But we can thank him and live for today. And be ever so grateful for the opportunity to be partakers and also inheritance with the Lord. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, church. I love you. I love you. I love you. And we will see you so very soon. Blessings, church. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me know something. Send me a little something. Let me know that you're in traveling grace with me as we go into this next year. Amen. And amen. You speak, you won't let go. Fall to my knees as I lift my hands to pray. Got every reason to be here again. Father's heart that draws me in. And all my eyes.